All right, YouTube, one of the first things you should do whenever you get a new motorcycle is uh, remove this right here, that back tail section, license plate holder. As you see, this has a single-sided swing arm, and nothing makes a single-sided swing arm look bad is that right here. So, I have a solution for that. Um, it is right here from... Uh, was it New Rage Cycles? Unbox it now. It comes with a nice box. Oh man, this is a tent because I, I don't like the uh, white. So what I'm going to do is uh, tint it black. Kind of like a matte black tint to match the, uh, you know, the matte black on the bike. Um, it didn't really come with step-by-step uh, -step instructions, but it, did, it does have a website. This is right here on the package. So, uh, yeah, installation help. Yeah, so they have it on the website right here. In case you're wondering. Now this kit I ordered is for the, um, the Pentagoli V4. Which you know the Street Fighter is based off of that bike, so I'm guessing it, it should be the same plug and play installation. So um, we'll get to it. Uh, I know for sure we'll need a uh, some torque wrenches. Um, so this is how the box comes in. It comes in nice, nice padding. I just wish this was kind of more wrapped up, but I mean whatever. Um, this is probably obviously the bracket holder, and this should be like a plug and play right there. Uh, just by looking at it without looking at any instructions, it looks like uh, I have to get to these screws right here. Probably just a screw here. Uh, probably. I want to see this right here. Where else is there screws at? Yeah, and your screws are all underneath here. So, let's get to it. Um, yeah, gotta get rid of these things. All right, so. Look it up online. Um, So step one. Step one is to disassemble lower sec lower section of the stock tail section by removing four torque screws. Okay, yeah, I see those. Unplug OEM connectors. Yeah. Alright, so you guys can pause that. Um if you want to see the instructions right there, I'll put it in, zoom it in more for you guys. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna start removing these uh these screws underneath here and get to it. Let's see if I could sit you guys somewhere while I do it. All right, well, I'm gonna sit you guys down for a second and I'm gonna unscrew them and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, guys, let's just remove those, um, those four screws from here and there. So it looks like a total of eight. And I also pulled the uh, indicator switch from there, from this one here. And now it's uh, completely empty. And it's time to uh, place the aftermarket on. Turn this one on here. Last time, place this one there. All right, that's good. All right, guys. So what I had to do is remove the light bracket. I had to cut the zip tie from here, and unplug this from there. I'm gonna need this to plug it back in here. 
back in there. So. All right, guys, when you're plugging this in, make sure you plug them into the uh, proper one. One means left and right, so let's see if it works. Right, right, turns it goes right. And try left turns again. Is it right? Left turns it again. Right, left. All right, cool. So it's connected properly. All right. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Cool. All right, so it's all connected. All right, next step. Yeah, so like I said, each of these, one means left and one means right. So, get them all plugged in. Next is to get all the wires moved in here and then we'll go and uh, screw it up in here. Put you guys down for a second, do that step, and I'll show you what the results are. All right. All right, guys, I'm back. It's another day. Got kind of late as I was putting this in. But I got it fully installed. I used the stock screws to put this all in. But yeah, it was pretty self-explanatory, and I'm using the tuck position for the plate. As you guys can see right here, tuck position. Um, what I don't like is I don't like the white. Um, turn signals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tint those, uh, kind of like a matte tint, matte film. Kind of right here. I use it on my car. Um, the charger over there. Yeah, I've used it on that, and I was pretty, pretty impressed with it, the way it looks. Um, so, I'm gonna put it on this. So we're cutting the stuff you always want to have extra, just in case you messed up. But I have extra anyway. Alright, so it's a bit of alcohol, clean it off. Yes, I'm All right, so the blade cut that. Let's turn the lights on so I can see. I need to cut.
Cool. Yeah. So what you think? Let me uh, cut the blinkers off. Get the brakes. Let's see. What it looks like when uh, it went off. Good. I actually like the way it looks. That's cool. Yeah, that looks good. I might actually tint the uh, tint this too. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Think I should uh, tint the brakes. Yeah, it looks good though. see a difference. Yeah, this blends in good. Cool. All right, like I said, uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, how do you feel about the um, New Rage uh, Cycles um, Teletype kit for the uh, 2021 Ducati uh, Street Fighter V4. And uh, yeah, all right, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.